Entering high school is a big, big experience. The transition in is one of the most powerful moments in a young person's life. They say there's research that tells us it's it just as powerful as when you get married. So it's more powerful than moving out of the house, more powerful than college or middle school or elementary or anything like that. This right now, what you're embarking on, going from eighth grade to ninth, this is where you get the fresh start, all right? However things went in middle school, they went great, terrific. You can roll that right into high school. They didn't go so great, don't worry about it. That's over, okay? You get a fresh start here. You get to redefine who you are, learn about yourself as you're going through the high school experience. And what better place to do that at than Bel Air High School? 65 year tradition of excellence coming through this door. We got alumni that have been in every major sports on theater, winning Academy Awards, everything. You name it, lawyers, doctors, teachers, nurses, everything coming out of this school. And when you leave, you're gonna have options. Whatever that may look like, that next adventure, that's what's gonna be available for you. But right now, so let's talk about Cardinal Camp and the three types of kids that come to Cardinal Camp, all right, that come into high school. Now the first kind of kid, now as I describe these, you think about yourself and think about which one you are, and then you also think about your friends and which ones they are, okay? First kind of kid that comes into high school is the kid that makes things happen. All right, so tell me if you're this kid or if you know this kiddo. All right, so you're in gym class or you're in a theater or you're in you know in your English class, anything like that. And let's say you're reading a play, Romeo and Juliet. And they say, who wants to be this character, right? Okay, you know that kid who's always like, got his hand up, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. You need picking teams, you need a volunteer for anything, I'm ready to go, okay? There are those kids who'll jump right up and just jump right into them. Those are the kids that make things happen. And in high school, those are the kids that end up in the picture, right? Okay, so all around campus, you're going to see newspaper staff, yearbook staff. We got our Twitter page, Instagram, everything going all the time. So always looking for kids who are jumping in and being a part of something, okay? Now that may be you. It may not be. Maybe you got a friend like that. But I bet you, if it's not you, I bet you you got a friend like that that's always like, man, you're always volunteering for everything. Okay, and that's all right because we need those kids. Those are the kids that make things happen. We need somebody that's going to jump up jump right in, connect into the school, and just say, let's go. I, it doesn't matter. I'm just ready to be a part of it, okay? That's the first kind of kid, kid that makes things happen. Second kind of kid that comes into high school, okay? See if this is you or you know somebody like this. Second kind of kid is the kid who watches what happens, okay? So like when the hand goes up and they need a volunteer, all right, and your buddy's raising his hand, you're kind of looking down like, oh, man, what are you doing, man? What are you, you don't even know what it's going to be, and you're already volunteering? You don't even know. Okay, so maybe you're that kid, but as soon as they pick everybody, and then they're like, okay, so which team do you think is going to win? And you're like, oh man, I got team A, Johnny's team's going to win, Michael's team's going to win, Brandon's team's going to come through, Susie's team, she's got it. Okay, you're up there, you're cheering, you're a part of that. We need those kids too, because here's the thing. Okay, when you go to your first football game, or you go to the first play in the auditorium, there's way more seats out in the stands then there's room out on the field or on the stage. Okay, you know what I'm talking about. If you go to a basketball game, they can't fit everybody down on the court. They got a lot of seats in the, in the uh, gym though, a lot of seats for you to be there because we need you. We need people that come to watch the things, that are cheering them on, that are making everybody like, go for it, man. We got Cardinal Pride. Okay, hashtag Cardinal Pride. We're gonna, we're gonna make sure that we come through. We're gonna win this game today. We're gonna come through. That concert's gonna be off the chain. Okay, when we go to the play, it's gonna be fantastic. We need people in the audience cheering and supporting and that are part of the community of the school. So we need those people too, all right? But here's the challenge, all right? So maybe you start off as a kid who's watching what happens, but at some point you gotta jump in, okay? And so maybe it's during your freshman year. Maybe it's not till your sophomore year. Maybe it's not even till your junior or senior year. But at some point, you gotta step out on that skinny branch, take a chance, and jump in the picture and be a part of that, okay? But we need you. Even if you're just watching what happens right now and you're at the game and you're at the concert, that's what we need because here's the thing. When you pull out your yearbook at the end of the year, you start thumbing through it and everything like that, you're gonna be like, oh, you remember Spirit Week? Yeah, we all dressed up on, on Decades Day and Twin Day, you remember? Me and Rachel, we were, we were the same, we dressed the same. All those different pieces, right? That's still part of it and watching what happens. Oh, I went to the tailgate. You remember that for homecoming? Man, it was crazy. All the free food, bird keepers were out there, the cheerleaders, bells, everybody. Okay, it was incredible. We came back and we won the game. 
of the Emotions Dance Concert. Unbelievable, the music, the energy. Man, it was just amazing, okay? You wanna be able to look back in the yearbook and remember those things, all right? Either you're the first kind of kid and you're in the picture, you're jumping right in. You're the second kind of kid who's watching what happens, all right? And just biding your time until you're gonna jump in and be a part of it. That's okay, we need that kid too. But here's the third kind of kid that comes to camp, or the third kind of kid that enters high school, okay? And that's the kid that looks around and goes, what happened? Okay, first kid makes something happen, second kid watches it happen, third kid's like, wait, what happened? Okay, if you think about it, there are kids who signed up for Cardinal Camp who, who maybe yesterday, a couple days ago, were like, man, I'm gonna check it out, I'm gonna be there, and then they don't show up, right? You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. And maybe it's you, but again, as I said, this high school, you get a fresh chance. Clean slate to be the kind of kid that you want to be, okay? Be the kind of high school student that you want to be. Because we all know those people who sometimes, and they just don't show up. Here's the thing about high school. It's one of those you had to be there kind of moments, okay? So when you think back, and you're looking back on homecoming, and you're looking back on the Emotions concert and the big play musical that we do in the spring and all these different pieces, okay? You don't want to be looking around and go, wait, what happened? Oh, we had a game? Oh, there were auditions? I didn't even know we had that team or that club or that organization here on, ca on campus, okay? You don't want to be that. First kind of person, makes something happen. Second kind of person, watches something happen until they're ready. And then the third is, wait, what happened? Okay, so you have a chance right now to define which one you're going to be, which one of those three, all right? You got a chance through your choices and the learning that you're going to do today, you're going to learn so much about the school, you're going to find out and figure out, okay, you know what? I do know how I can get connected. When I get over to that club jamboree, I'm going to look around because I'm going to have already looked on the website of where the clubs are. You're going to do that today, okay? You're going to get a chance to pull all that together, all right? Because through your choices today, the learning you do today, you're going to be able to decide who you're going to be and which one of those kids you may start off as, but then make sure that when you graduate, you're looked around and you can remember all those things because, again, high school is one of those you had to be there moments. you got to be a part of it. you got to connect, and that starts today. And you made the right choice by coming, checking this out, starting with me, and then moving down your path. So that when you graduate, it's just four years, and those are going to fly. You're going to be proud, you're going to be excited, and you're going to be ready for whatever that next adventure looks like. All right? So that's what I got to share with you right now. I'm so glad to meet y'all. I'm excited about what's happening, and uh, I'll catch you at the end. Have a great day.